a programmable logic controller also known as a PLC is a specialized computer system that's used to test input functions and switches its outputs after processing according to predetermined programmed requirements they can be applied as sequential or combinational logic controllers when looking at a PLC unit we will find that there are two power connecting pins then depending on the make and model of the PLC we will have multiple digital inputs and we will have multiple analog inputs on the output side we will find that the PLC has combinations and each of these combinations refers to a specific output now the outputs are digital in nature in other words they can, can they can switch on or they can switch off digital inputs measures a high voltage or a low voltage and then the analog inputs measures a specific range of input voltages and then it'll sw switch at a certain level now the power pins for the PLC is dependent again on the PLC's make and model power can be supplied by a 12 volt DC supply a 24 volt DC supply and I've also seen 240 volt AC uh, PLC units that can run directly off a mains supply some PLC's when looking at them you will see that there is a display unit on the top and then sometimes they come with five control buttons which is then used to either activate PLC these buttons can be used as input additional digital input uh, and then the display unit is just to show statistics on what's happening is the PLC running or is it in standby mode uh, you can use the buttons to actually alter make minor alterations to a program if the PLC is in standby mode now the history of the PLC initially it was developed in 1968 because uh, in 1968 for the automotion automation automation industry whereby they discovered that when they want to change the procedures of manufacture it takes a long time to do rewiring of the contactors so they initially started by introducing the PLC whereby the PLC can just be programmed the new program can be updated or uploaded and as a result production time is not lost currently the PLC is extensively used in automation in other words the manufacturing processes of uh, devices like motor vehicles geezers 
and so forth or the uh, production of PC boards. Hard wiring versus soft wiring. When it comes to hardwired and soft wired devices, because the PLC is an electric device, we are going to need electrical connections, in other words, wires that run from the PLC to the devices that's being controlled. Now, because of the voltage and current limitations of the PLC, PLCs typically cannot connect directly to a motor. As a result, we connect them to contactors or we can even connect them to relays, which then, which then connects them to contactors. This is a safety aspect. Hard wiring refers to one contactor connecting to another, connecting to another, whereas soft wiring, all those connections are replaced by a computer program that is uploaded into the PLC. The program scan cycle program scan cycle of a PLC initially tests the inputs takes those inputs and plugs them into the program and it runs the process processes the data and then it switches its outputs according to the results of the process and then it repeats the whole process from the beginning again. The block diagram PLC is built around a CPU or a central processing unit, sometimes just called the processor. It is fed with inputs and these inputs can include devices like switches, sensors, buttons, limit switches, level sensors and so on. The output module Those are the contacts that's on the PLC, but those can connect to contactors, relays, solenoids, lamps, alarms, and so forth. This unit is dependent on power. Now that power supply will either be a 12 volt DC, a 24 volt DC, or the 240 volt supply. And then typically in industry, your PLC is connected to a programming device, for example a computer or a laptop. This program device works in two directions, in other words it is used to upload new programs or alterations to a program to the PLC and it is also used to either download programs from the PLC for editing or it is used to give feedback on what is actually happening in the processes that the PLC is running. When programming a PLC we use one of three languages. First language is ladder logic Second instru or instruction or programming language is called the instruction list. And the final option is a logic block diagram. Okay, so ladder logic or instruction list 
or your logic block diagram. Now the logic block diagram, the ladder logic and the instructions list all work exactly the same. It is just their presentation that differs. Uh, when you upload a program from a computer, the computer automatically translates whichever programming language you used into an instruction list and that is what the PLC then uses.